I present to you this morning, or this afternoon now, SB 435. This bill is about fairness. It's simply not fair to force biological girls to compete against biological males. And it's certainly not fair to expect girls to endure the immense social pressure against them if they speak up for themselves. Trans youth, nearly half of them, in the clinical studies that we talk about, have contemplated or attempted suicide. Nearly half. Let's be clear, we are talking about children here. We are talking about a bill that increases risk, stigmatizes, and endangers children. I know that many of us in this body have children. Many of us have children that are about the age of the children that we're talking about in uh, targeting in this bill. Just really think about what this means to know that some of the protective measures that we've demonstrated is the social supports provided by school, athletics, all the wonderful you know, benefits that the senator from 16th addressed in his remarks. To take them away from an especially vulnerable group knowing that taking away those supports increases their risk of suicide, substance abuse, death, is unconscionable. And I, I cannot believe we are having this conversation, and yet here we are. I'm the mother of a trans child. And it's hard to stand up here and say that because it hurts. It really, really hurts. And my kid contacted me last night and said, is that bill going to come up in the Senate today? And I said, yes, it is. And I'm dreading it. Now, I've talked to my kid about this issue. We have a Google document that we communicate in when the subjects are too hard to do in person, to talk about in person. And so we had a long conversation in this Google document about this issue. And we both have conflicted feelings about it because it is such an incredibly complex issue. And we both recognized that between the two of us, we could not come up with a perfect solution. What we could agree on is that we need more recreational sports for all children in high school. And let's talk about the characteristic that underlies sportsmanship. It's empathy. The ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. That's why we tell kids, you don't celebrate when someone else lost or is having a hard time. But I can't find a shred of empathy in this bill. Instead, taking aim at a small group of children, children who already have a lot to grapple with, to tell them on no uncertain terms, you are different and you don't belong. And there's something wrong with you. And why? Why? There isn't even one example of a school policy being inclusive of transgender athletes that's been a problem in our state. There's no problem to be solved which makes the legislation just really cruel. It's not an easy topic for any of us. And my heart certainly goes out to the center from the 40th and your child and, and all the families that uh, this could potentially affect. But what we've heard today is we've heard the term playing up. And we've heard that playing up is a real thing. So if playing up is a real thing, then, then we all must assume that playing down, too, is a real thing. And if playing down is real, then it is my humble opinion that we do have an obligation to protect others against this. And that is the intent of this bill. We've come a long way in this country in how we treat women and a long way for women's rights. I believe that women's sports is one of the greatest tools that we have in our constant fight for gender equality. 
And this bill simply helps protect that tool. Nothing more, nothing less. 